always tell you to be humble. When was the last time someone told you to be amazing? Be great. Be great. Be awesome. Be awesome. Kanye West has been one of the most successful and influential hip-hop artists since he came into the scene in 2004 with his debut album, The College Dropout. Kanye has sold over 34 million albums with over 100 million downloads. He has 68 Grammy nominations with 21 wins. Twice he has been included in Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. While some people praise Kanye for his musical and creative genius, far more people criticize him for what they see about him in the media. He repeatedly makes headlines for his antics and many people blast him for his ego. Those familiar with him seem to feel strongly that he is either a total self-centered quack or else a musical revolutionary, writes Dr. Rachel Kitson in her article, A Psychologist's Perspective on Kanye West. Kanye has interrupted quite a few award shows and has a tendency to rub people the wrong way. He garners attention from almost everyone, including those of power and importance. Obama once said in an interview, I like Kanye. He's a Chicago guy. Smart. He's very talented. The reporter then asked, even though you called him a jackass? Referring to Obama's off-the-record comments about West that were leaked from a 2009 interview with CNBC. Obama's response, he is a jackass, but he's talented. Obama recognizes that Kanye is a talented artist and says he is smart, but then goes on to call him a jackass almost contradicting himself. Even with the constant criticism and hate, Kanye continues to have confidence in himself and take creative risks. What makes Kanye West so successful? Besides fans and haters of Kanye, others who are interested in this question are people who are invested in their own success. I believe that a large part of Kanye's success can be attributed to his high self-esteem and that we could all learn something from him. His self-esteem allows him to continue to perform and produce at a high level while under a huge spotlight and receiving negative criticism, as well as driving him to keep getting better. Observing successful people and identifying characteristics or traits that help to make them successful can help us, as we try to adopt or improve those characteristics in ourselves. Dr. William Berry says we all possess negative traits and find it easier to see them in others. We need to focus on the positive in other people and in ourselves rather than the negative. In fact, in this paper I will show that not only does high self-esteem contribute to Kanye West's success, but also that high self-esteem causes people to perform better in general. Other factors considered include self-focusing stimuli such as the media and negative criticism. I will also recommend that we think about our own self-esteem and success as it relates to us. The Kanye West in All of Us is an article that plays with the idea that the reader has more in common with Kanye than they may think. The article is found on the website Psychology Today and was written by psychotherapist and professor William Berry in early 2015. This source relates to my argument by highlighting that maybe we have some commonalities with Kanye and that we should try to capitalize on some of those commonalities. This source appeals to Kanye fans as well as Kanye haters as fans would like to learn that they have some in common with Kanye and haters may criticize him less if they understood him more. The effects of self-esteem, success failure, and self-consciousness on tax performance is an article that talks about how people with high and low self-esteem react when in the presence of self-focusing stimuli and different kinds of feedback. This article was published in 1979 by Dr. Joel Brockner, who is currently a professor in Columbia's business school. This article relates to my argument because Kanye is constantly talked about in the media and he is definitely seeing all of this news about him. Not everyone can handle all of the criticism that celebrities get, especially what is directed towards Kanye. Since Kanye has a high self-esteem, he is able to perform and function almost the same as if he was receiving no criticism or feedback at all. The source appeals to people who are trying to analyze their own personalities and are interested in, in improving themselves. Social comparison strategies following success and failure. Differences between people with high and low self-esteem is an article that highlights some key differences in motivations and desires of people with high and low self-esteem. This paper was written by Dr. Maria Giordano Beach, who published this in 1996 in response to some research he had been conducting with the University of Waterloo in Canada. The source relates to my argument because it talks about the differences in goals and motivations between people with high and low self-esteem. People with low self-esteem focus on their successes and become satisfied with that, whereas people with high self-esteem are more likely to seek comparisons with their failures and are focused on self-enhancement. This source appeals to people who are set on trying to become successful and improving themselves. A Psychologist's Perspective on Kanye West is an article breaking down some of the different parts of Kanye West's personality. The article is found on the website Shrink Tank and was written in 2016 by psychologist Dr. Rachel Kitson. In my argument, I am taking a look at part of Kanye's personality that most brings him success. Because he acts so differently, 
from what we consider as normal, we criticize him. But since he is more successful than most people, we should analyze his personality and observe what he does right. The source mostly speaks to the Kanye haters as it talks about some of the negative parts of his personality. Why Can't Kanye West Shut the Hell Up is an article that comments on the art of Kanye stirring everything up on Twitter. This article was written by Stephen March for Esquire in 2010. The source relates to my argument because it talks about how Kanye is not afraid to put almost anything out there, especially on Twitter. They also talk about how Kanye treats himself as a brand and enjoys being in the spotlight. This source appeals to the fans of Kanye as well as the people who are interested in some of the crazy things that Kanye has to say.